Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I know you guys have been like, Morgan, where is this review at? <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this palette, see me do this tutorial. And then I also have some swatch comparisons at the end compared to all of the other palettes that I thought were worth comparing at the end of this video. So just keep watching. <laughs> If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love to know anything and everything about all of the new makeup products on the market and then share with you guys my thoughts. And today's focus, we are on Charlotte Tilbury. If you aren't familiar with my channel, I am a Charlotte Tilbury addict, especially within the last couple of years. Her brand has really become one of my favorite brands. I just think she comes out with overall great quality products. I do think her products tend to be a bit overpriced, yes, but every product that I use I fall in love with so this palette was no exception I was so excited for it I have just about every eyeshadow palette that she has out in her line right now so of course I had to pick this one up so this guy is $75 it is limited edition and the date that you guys are watching this it did release today so the link will be down in the description box if you are interested in purchasing lately charlotte tilbury has been coming out with a lot of early access links so for a limited time i believe it's 24 hours you can purchase this palette so that is how i got my hands on this make sure you guys have your name on her email list so that you are able to get early access links if you would like all right so let's talk about this guy this is her holiday palette this theme here is jewel toned colors she said i've created four magical jewel inspired eye glow looks with 12 new shades inspired by the world's most brilliant gems. It's encased in a collector's edition silver starburst case color coded to make every eye color work. And it says online that it actually has a new wet powder technology ensuring amplified color payoff, intense light play, and creamy emollient powder feel. And wet powder is exactly the way that I would use to describe Charlotte Tilbury's formula. It really does feel like that and it really does blend like that on the eye. This guy has a 18 month shelf life and it is made in Italy. So let's get into the packaging here. It is the same packaging that all of her holiday palettes or just her larger palettes come in. This is not a new design for her but this is new packaging like I just said. It just has a beautiful silver crystal like packaging. I really Really like it. I will say though, I think my favorite to date has been just the classic gold. I think it's gorgeous from the Pillow Talk Instant Eye one, but the silver one is perfect for holiday and it just looks really good with the silver holiday highlighter that also came out. So you open it up and if you aren't familiar with how these palettes work, basically there are four different pre-curated looks for you. Happy Glow, Love Glow, Dream Glow, and Seduce Glow. And you're supposed to use this first shade in every trio to prime the eye, put it all over the lid. The second look to enhance, so that's kind of the crease outer corner color. And then the third color is the smoke, so to really deepen it out in the outer corner. So that's how she set this one up. As always, you can use it however you would like, but I do actually really like the pre-curated looks because a lot of times I find myself really staying in the designed trio just because you know it's a look that's going to look good and you don't have to think about it. As far as how this palette swatched, it swatched so so beautifully you guys just as all of her palettes do and I swear as the years have gone on her formula has just gotten better and better they feel more creamy they feel more wet and this one is not the exception the colors that I did struggle to swatch and struggle I use that term loosely is this matte red shade right here which this is a shade that always swatches bad but always applies really good um, and then the purple trio in general was a little bit weaker compared to the others but I still was impressed with how it swatched because purple are very bad at swatching and these swatched really nice anyways. So the finishes that you are getting here, there are only three mattes in here and the rest are her typical Charlotte Tilbury wet powder formula. There is no of her true pop shades in here. I would say this color in Dream Glow is the closest color that you're going to get to a pop shade and that's a, it's a little bit more sheer with some extra reflex in there but it's still that wet powder formula and her wet powder formula honestly is my favorite. I just think it's so extremely pigmented and 
creamy and it's so versatile because you can use it in the crease and even though it's shimmery it doesn't look really awful um it looks really good just to show you guys not to be afraid of her shimmer shades i did only use shimmers for this entire look and i know it's very intimidating and i think for the average consumer she should have put more than just three mattes in this palette but what makes charlotte tilbury stand out in my opinion is her shimmer shadows and how they look all over the eye because Charlotte Tilbury's brand in general has a glowy look to it and if you look at all of her models all of her photos on Instagram all of them have this really gorgeous glowy catching the light kind of eye look and you're gonna get that through using her shimmer shades and it really is a look that I personally feel like is really special from Charlotte Tilbury whenever I use other shimmer shadows I just feel like it doesn't look quite right but when I use Charlotte Tilbury's shimmer shadows for the shimmer look. It's that special look. And you know what? Not everybody sees that. Not everybody thinks that it's worth it. And I do agree. Nobody needs to spend $75 on an eyeshadow palette. It's not a necessity. But sometimes it does take a special eye to really appreciate how the shadows look on the eye. And if you don't see it and you don't appreciate it, definitely save your money because Charlotte Tilbury is overrated if you don't look into the finer details of things like I do. You guys know I'm a crazy makeup addict the average person is not behind studio lights pretty much on a daily basis to film my videos so yeah charlotte tilbury is not for everybody but i always say this i do highly recommend looking into her big instant eye palettes because her quads are only four shades and it's like 53 dollars and they're very very tiny you get a very limited amount of product whereas with these guys it's 75 you get a lot more colors and a lot of times with her inserted trios usually the trio is very similar to an already existing quad so I feel like you get the best of Charlotte Tilbury's brand you get to try different families of her colors and it's all in one at a much better value than her quads you know if you've been wanting to try the Charlotte Tilbury formula I always say that these big guys are the way to go because the value is just the best and a lot of times you will find that the quality in brands when they have like a smaller more expensive item that the quality is better than that personally I think that the quality in her palettes can sometimes Sometimes be better than her quads. Now lately I think she has improved her general quad formula so I can't say that the palette's formula is better anymore but they're the exact same. So she's not cutting corners. You are literally getting the Charlotte Tilbury formula in this palette at a better value so I always highly recommend going this route especially when she comes out with these ones where there are true different color families like you have a lighter warm family here you have this maroon family here you have a purple family and you have a cool tone brown family so I really like the arrangement of colors here even though I do absolutely love my pillow talk instant eye palette it is all pink. This was my wedding palette, so I do love it, but I love having multiple color families as opposed to just one. So I think this one is definitely a hit. I'm loving the color story in here. So I'm going to take you into my tutorial on this look so that you can see how the colors look. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Charlotte Tilbury's formula, I don't really like doing super intricate looks. I just really like typically for an everyday basis, throwing on the shadows all over my eyes and it just looks magnificent so these palettes are very easy to use and if you're looking for a palette where you don't need to think so much her palettes are the way to go because you can just put one color all over the eye and your look is gonna look amazing always but I did do something a little bit more intricate for this look just to try out different colors in here but I always love this kind of blown out look from her so here we go <laughs> okay you guys so one thing I specifically sought out to do for this tutorial was not use any of the mattes because I want to show you what is so special about her shimmer formula and why you shouldn't be afraid of this palette because it, there is a limited number of mattes. In the love glow section we're going for the second shade. I'm using a Wayne Goss number four brush and this shade looks very intimidating to use as a crease color because of how metallic it is but watch this you guys. So you can see when you first apply it, it seems really scary which by the way it is amazing that a shimmer shade shade can pick up that much pigmentation on a blending brush so it's not even like I didn't press super hard into the pan and we're going to blend this out into a crease color so as you can see as it's blending out it's not as metallic and intimidating so don't be afraid to grab into the shimmer shades and blend them out into the crease because as they blend out they just simply 
aren't as shimmery. They still obviously aren't a matte shade by any means, but they work as a matte color or where you would place a matte color. I mean, this should tell you everything about the quality that you need to know. Do you see how effortless this color blends out? And did you see how pigmented it was? Incredible. While I'm at it, we're putting this along the lower lash line. With a Refer 14 brush, we're going into the deepest shade in the Dream Glow Trio. The neutral trios in this palette are really gorgeous and exciting. I knew I wanted to mix the burgundy reddish side with this purple side because I just love purple purple with red shades. I think it's really gorgeous. So I'm putting this shade in the inner and outer corner of my eye and I'm working it out. Again, this is quite a metallic shade, but it works out just fine. And you can see clearly this is not a matte look at all. It is very shimmery. That's what gives it the Charlotte Tilbury glow that is just so special and unique. I'm literally just mixing the red and purple together on my lower lash line. Next, we're taking the second shade in the Dream Glow Trio, and we're gonna use this as the in-between shade, but we're still gonna have a brighter color in the center, so leave a little bit of space. But this is a little bit brighter than the plum color that we use. It has a little bit of a red undertone to it, and it's just gorgeous. This color all over the lid will be gorgeous enough alone. With the Wayne Goss number seven, we're taking the lightest shade here, and this we're gonna use as that final pop in the center of the lid. And then finally, we're gonna take the lighter shade in the Dream Glow palette. I just really feel like so very few brands can pull off this kind of look with the mixtures of colors that I put together. So I'm going to put on liner and lashes and we'll be done with the look. Okay, wait, I did have to show you this. I'm using the highlighter that also is in our holiday collection, the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. I already do have a review of this highlighter posted online, but I have to show you. I'm using a MAC 133 brush. <sighs> This is one expensive but gorgeous highlighter. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I'll be back. So with everything, as you guys already saw, this is what the final look looks like. I really do feel like a Charlotte Tilbury model right now. I love it. I love the way this palette applied. I just think it is so easy. I think it's so easy to maneuver through the palette to create a look as well. <gasps> I really like her balance, okay? Now, the one downside to her brand, which I do agree with, is I do feel like her palettes do become repetitive, especially if you do own a lot of the palettes like I do. Her color stories that she chooses are not very and a lot of times I find that she dupes herself. If you know me, I'm not too picky about whether or not there are repeat shades or not because for me what is special is the palette itself and the packaging and I just appreciate things that don't really matter. Uh, if we're being practical here, yes, a lot of these colors or color stories do already exist in her line or in your collection probably. But for me, it's about having it all curated in one. But of course, me having such a large Charlotte Tilbury collection, I did want to compare for you guys. So let's get into those. So the first palette that I wanted to compare with the Bejeweled palette is the Icon palette. This guy actually crept up to be one of my favorite big palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, but I wanted to see which colors were similar. There actually were quite a few more similar shades than I had anticipated. So all of the top for all the swatches are going to be the Bejeweled palette, and these are all of the close colors in the Icon palette. So this is a good number. I would say the Icon is very close to this pinky trio. Uh, there's a lot of dupes there. Um, and the neutrals are different, I would say, and there really wasn't much in the way of copper and this shade and this shade aren't very similar, uh, but definitely similar tones, similar ideas, but I would say these palettes aren't really that comparable because the Icon palette has some tones that are not in this palette at all and vice versa, but just in case you have both. So here's the Bejeweled palette next to the Pillow Talk Instant Eye palette. Honestly, I didn't expect these two to be very similar with the exception of this trio here because the Pillow Talk is basically an extended version of this trio. And here are the comparisons. I would say these aren't very comparable. There's maybe one or two shades that are pretty close, but other than that, uh, I didn't notice too many similarities. Here is the Bejeweled next to the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize. So this was last year's holiday palette. 
I mean, just looking at these, I did not expect them to be very similar at all. The setup is the same, and there's a couple tones that are similar, but they look very different to me. And while I did find some kind of close in the Starry Eyes to Hypnotize, honestly, they aren't even actually that close. So if you have Starry Eyes to Hypnotize, I would say there's not very many similarities. So this is the holiday palette from a couple years ago, The Stars in Your Eyes. And what I was really interested mostly was how these two purple trios would match up so that was my main comparison and then I tried to mix and match other colors so just looking right here here are how the two purple trios compare I would say they definitely look like they could all be in the same palette together but none of them are identical and I really didn't find any other matches within the palette like I did put these down but honestly they really don't match up to the corresponding color that I have so I would say the purple is definitely close but everything else isn't very similar at all. I would argue that the middle of both of the palettes are kind of similar, but no exact dupes if that's what you're looking for. So I picked out two quads that I thought were close to the warmer neutral shades. So here's what Queen of Glow looks like compared to this palette. And then I thought Copper Charge could also give it a run for its money, potentially. I didn't swatch matching the colors up shade to shade, but these four are Queen of Glue. These three are from Copper Charge. And they definitely have very similar tones to the Bejeweled palette, particularly Queen of Glow. The shimmers are very close, but nothing identical. Now a quad that I felt like was very close to these two trios was Mesmerizing Maroon. I thought it really played into the purples and the reddish tones. And then I also pulled in a little bit of the Glamour Muse. I just used that purple pop shade that you see. So as far of Glamour Muse, just for curiosity, here's the pop shade nothing like anything from the Bejeweled. And here's the Mesmerizing Maroon Quad. And I will say it perfectly pulls together these two trios. So if you are interested in only these two trios in the Bejeweled, if you're looking for like a small little quad, that one ties it in perfectly, I would say. They're not dupes, but you get kind of a similar idea. All right, you guys. So let's get into my final thoughts about this palette. I mean, I think it's pretty clear. I do enjoy this palette a lot. Is it my favorite palette that she's come out with they all kind of blend together at this point I don't know what's my favorite and what's my least favorite especially as far as the big guys go but I do think this is a good one it is definitely not a dud it is still her really great formula if you have a lot of other Charlotte Tilbury palettes is this something you could pass on absolutely you do not need it I mean honestly in no circumstance do you need this palette but as always, I think if you've been wanting to try the Charlotte Tilbury formula, this is the best value to go at. And I think this palette in particular is a good one to begin with because of the different color families that you are getting in here. So it's a little bit more variety as far as Charlotte Tilbury goes because she does like to stick in like the pinky range and you get a little bit more than that here. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!